Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So first off, I'll give a shout out to one of my newest Patreon supporter, Seamus Yoder. Thanks for your support. Now I do apologize for the late uh, update notice. I was actually on an online meeting and so I uh, just finished work to see a new update version 2.11.500, another style Pluma Diana. And so um, from the picture, you can clearly see that it's going to be AS Mistrar. Um, it's kind of interesting that AS Mistrar came out before some of the older units got an AS, uh, notably <coughs> Lovely. But that being said, a welcome new banner for those who don't have Mistrar in any form, of course. And uh, she is a second singing unit. So um, for those who don't know already, uh, Pizka or Pichka actually is our first very powerful um, fire-based bow uh, pierce unit that also does some really incredible singing effects. And Mister AS has uh, singing as well. So again, um, singing locks you in for three turns. You're not able to do any other action during those turns. However, um, it has a continuous effect as long as song is in play. And yes, song does continue effect even in zone. So you'll have a zone effect plus a song effect if both are in play. Uh, Mr. AS um, has, her songs are very unique in the fact that instead of a Pichka where you have kind of a choice from all defensive, all offensive, or kind of a little bit of mix of both, her two songs look like it's more of a hybrid. Um, they both reduce damage by 50%, so very similar to um, the shielding from Oratorio. Um, it guarantees crit rate for everyone while in effect, which is really great. It heals um, 2000 HP and it looks like this is affected every turn. I hope that it's every turn anyways. And um, one unique mechanic is that um, when are you, you're using uh, moves, as long as you don't spam the same move, you get increased of damage for the next move. So you essentially have to alternate between um, your two slots, aka playing the piano, and so that can uh, increase your damage while doing so. And uh, her unique mechanic is similar to something like an AS Victor. She'll have an end of turn attack, which not only applies a dual debuff power and in 25%, it also increases number of hits and damage based on this kind of unique stacking um, orb that she has like most AS uh, users have. Now, whether or not she is better than Pika, uh, I know that a lot, uh, some of the more advanced um, JP players have already experienced with that, and I'll discuss that further tomorrow in the Should You Summon version of the video uh, once that banner drops. Note that this is a completely new update number, and so it should be an App Store or Play Store update. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think about AS Mystere at first glance, either her art, her design, um, and you know her uses as well. Not only that, of course, you do have a fateful paid two times max flat ten percent chance on the tenth pull, and well, she we will see what uh, she shares the banner with. But most likely, with an AS version, you'll have the upgraded regular version. So, um, one of your best chances to get Mysteria in any form if you don't have it any already. However. The one interesting thing is we do have a new manifest weapon available and I, I'm imagining that if this follows suit with uh, Japan's release, we should get AS Molina's manifest. So that should be really exciting uh, for those who have AS Molina. Instead of using her ES form, we're going to power her up, get some chrono stones and uh, challenge ourselves with a challenging fight. And finally, you do have a three times new um, type of faithful encounter. So it guarantees these following 10 units, so 10% chance times all 10. Um, and again, I can discuss them further uh, tomorrow night in the Should You Summon um, video. But looks like the names at first glance are quite great, and guess what? Pichika is right there with the best of them. All right. One new QOL update is that they added the Manifestation Weapon Catalog. So I guess it's kind of like the quest 
tab in our menu so that you can kind of see what you fought, what you haven't fought. And of course, that means that you'll know um, how many stones you can earn. Remember, that's 50 stones for the first battle and 100 for the second. So that should be fun as well. And finally, as usual, they add some of the old um, episodes. If you finish the array, you can play them downstairs once you have locked that ability. Um, you can buy some cheap Chrono Stones packages if you are inclined to do so, 2,000 and 4,000 stones. And this un one touch unlock should be really, really useful, especially for newer players, uh, in that if you do have um, units that you've powered up to level 80, but you really just don't feel like clicking all the ability points to spread them out, it'll help you unlock everything except the ones that require quests, in which case, of course, you have to do those quests as well. So, um, Again, let me know in the comments below not only uh, what you think about AS Mystere and her design, are you planning to summon on her? Um, we are getting a little bit closer to Japan's, um, you know, in terms of releases. Um, this update is a little bit late, and of course we're waiting for Chapter 5 of the Future Mythos. However, this uh, banner still does give us time to uh, catch up while they do some translation, I imagine. And keep in mind that with Japan, when they got AS Mystere, that released with the Complex Dream. And so we got that earlier. Um, Global got it at the same time as Japan. As for myself, um, I uh, did hit an AS, uh, a Mystere 5 star normal style in my pursuit of Eva. And so uh, I will but not be chasing this banner, um, although I will, of course, be grinding her treatises. Hopefully, you did not buy your. Um, uh, keys with severe gems because if you haven't you can wait until the new update and grind those out anyways looking forward to the update at least there'll be something to do while we wait another week to 10 days for the chapter 5 future mythos thanks for watching we'll see you next time